Okay, it's my mic. There's my microphone. Okay. So what I need to do is to make a example video of, of what I use to capture audio and video and mix them together. So I need to go to where I have my little program running. June five an example. Okay, so <clears throat> I have this shell script called record audio command, and let's look at that. So <clears throat> what I am doing, so those are commented out. So here we have a pulse audio configure and FFmpeg. <clears throat> so pulse audio configure is um Let's do Pacman query. If I spell this correctly, it helps. All right, so this is the Pulse Audio Configure. It's a program. It's a package, a program, a, an app, and I dumped my other thing away too quickly. Let me see if we can explain what it does. I just want that. And I need to go over here, dump that over to 10. Okay, so. And I'll search for that. Pulse audio control here. What does this do? Um, so dynamic configuration. It does echo cancellation, mixing pulse audio stream and video contents. Blah blah blah. Um, let's jump into here. This and this command. So the command won't go. There's no way. Let's see if we have an info on that. Nope, none there. Okay. So let's go over here. So how do I explain what this is? Um, let's go back page. Close chat. Okay, so here is uh, this might be who wrote it. Blah blah blah. So this is version one of Pulse Audio config. It monitors a running Pulse Audio instance and keeps one of multiple presets in place. Um, Desktop entry. So, how do I explain what this is? Um, here, here it is. The command line application uh, might work in other stuff. It's written in Bash. And system-wide expert cancellation. Oh, here's our, here's our help and our version. So we can do that. And so it looks at these sources and sinks. And what we're looking for is sources now in the hardware, slightly above hardware level in our OS, we have 
So we got this microphone, and that goes to a source, blah, blah, blah. And that goes into a sync. And then it gets uh, sync out to a voice chat. And then we have a sound coming in. And that goes out to our speakers. How do I explain this? Anyway, what this basically does is it changes how the audio is routed. So here, here's my my sound modification uh, for my operating system, and this is the output. So this is going to be speakers. Um, and here we can say we have our, our built-in sound, and we have this uh, sync stream, which is done by this Pulse Audio config. And then our main stuff here, so we can here see here we got uh, Firefox is running three different things. Uh, looks like there's a YouTube and there's a couple callback drivers. And then here's our input. <clears throat> so um, there's a code, the codec that it's running. So the main sync, so I don't know. Okay, here, monitor built in analog. So those are the microphones that are built into my laptop right here. Uh, and they, these are like if you're looking at a tree, these are the ends of the branches where you can pick the fruit. Uh, same thing over here on the same tree. You have this is where the, the sound is coming out of the end of the branches. All right. So what I what this little script does is it it configures that, and then once I have those. Uh, pieces of fruit out at the end of the branches, then um, I can say, hey, I want this sound and I want this sound. So this is going to be the output. So anytime you play something on your computer, it's going to come out of there. And then this is your, um, your microphones, so the sound that's going in. <clears throat> And this is the, the screen it's going to grab, right? So I'm I'm grabbing at 30 frames per second, and I'm grabbing my whole desktop, so a 1920 by 8, 1080. And this is the mapping, right? So this is uh, um, this is the address where that that screen is. And then I'm taking it, I'm remapping out, right? So here we have our screen and video raw, right? So that matches this here. And that's coming out. It's getting processed by this video codec, libx264, and this is a this is a preset that's in FFmpeg, um, and I don't remember what this. This is going to be probably dependent upon what sort of CPU or what your processor can handle. This is going to be how it's going to be processing it, and this is the the file name it's getting saved as. So I'm sending this out as. Um, the screen right so here right here we can see this is what we just reported uh, from our um, deep dive into known as book 25 uh, so it comes out as that and it's getting stuffed into a Matroska uh, container that's what this MKV stands for Matroska and so we're mapping our audio right that we captured here in our sync name monitor that's getting uh, be our source main. Right, so this is going to be one. That would be zero, one, and two. So that's getting mapped out. It's being saved as this file. You know, this is a FLAC, which is a lossless uh, audio codec. And then our desktop sounds are coming, getting mapped out as such. So here's our our desktop sounds, and then our microphone sounds. Okay. So once we have that, uh, and I run this. Every time I want to start a recording, I just go in, I go into there, and I type in, what are you doing? Okay, that's nice. Get out there. Okay, so I go in and I type record audio command, and then I'll hit enter, and it does this, right? So what I typed over here, scroll up a bit. So I typed in this command, it automatically started running all this, and then this is uh, 
status messages from FFmpeg. Okay, so once you have that, let's jump over to here and you're done. Okay, so if I want to quit, if I want to quit this, I just come back into here and I hit Q and it'll stop the stop the recording. Um, and I could I could I could do this multiple. I can have multiple recordings at once, right? So there's my my recording going and it's capturing frames. And I hit quit. And then if I do this list, okay, now you can see that I have two of them in here. So I have the one that is um, currently running that started 10 minutes ago, and the one that I did just now. So this one that's ending in this time is my sample that I just did. Okay, so I stopped that. And then what I need to do is I can send this away. And I popped into Audacity. And it takes a little minute to open up. To say OK. And now I want to import audio. So here is that's today's. Today's 25. Okay, so this is the recording that we just did. That's that? Okay. Um, and it said, so it modified to that 1216, so that was uh, 10, 13 minutes ago, so that's when our, our notice episode stopped. So anyway, I want to open this up, pop this open. Watch as it opens. And here we have it. Okay, so this is the... What we're seeing is amplitude, so we got time on our horizontal axis and amplitude on our vertical axis. Um, and if I play it now, uh, for the text, and I want you to follow see, along again. A little bit quiet. Overhead. Okay, so I'm going to select this channel. Just change this color, the background. So if I select over here, it goes darker. So now we have lighter, and I want to do an effect. And I just want to make it louder, right? I want to get it where the amplitude is about this 0.5. Remember, this is all in, in decibels or tens of, uh, tens of bells. And when I open up this Amplify, Audacity auto-populates this value here. And I've found that if I just accept whatever value it uses, We have quite a bit of amplification here. We have some bigger stuff there, but now if I put it... Uh, for the text by the Indians. So, so um, long. now we can see that our volume is up a bit louder. Um, and if we wanted, this is an extra step that I haven't been doing lately, but we can go back into here and we can normalize that. And what that'll do is it'll look, you know, when you're watching a TV and the sounds get really loud and the sounds are really quiet and zoom. So you turn the volume up, and then you hear the quiet parts, and the next thing you know, your your neighbors are listening to your movie with you. Okay, so what normalization does, these two right here, what those do are they have to select it. What these do is they allow you to, <clears throat> to adjust these high values. I'm going to cancel out of that. Um, so that was uh, normalized loudness normalization. So here you can use the root mean square, or you can see you can use perceived loudness. Um, and this will also be a, a number that you'll have to play around with and figure out what you want, really, what, you know, how much you want to change it. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that because my goal is to, to just increase it, and I'm in a hurry, and I don't want to spend lots of time doing that. Okay, so I've applied that Amplify, and now I'm going to export this, export audio, and I want to go and select today, and we need to differentiate, right? So it gives us the same file name that we had before. We don't want to overwrite that, because if we mess up, we want to have our original go back. And since I started out doing normalization, I just throw an N on there, which means this file has now been normalized. You could put whatever, you, whatever difference you want to make, just as long as you have, have separate files. So I'll save that. You'll ask me to put in metadata. We don't want metadata. So we skip that. And we wait for it to go. So it's going to take 46 seconds. And then once this is done, 
And another thing, um, if we go back over here, uh, this is uh, this is like task manager. This is called HTOP. It's like task manager. Um, you can see that right here, FFmpeg is grabbing this recording that I'm making. We've got several instances of it going. We also have Audacity running. We've got one, one thread of Audacity. And I'm not seeing a whole lot else. But our processes are running OK. Our memory, uh, we're using like 9 gigs of memory. I think like 4 of that is Firefox. So we're probably sucking up about 4 gigs of memory, maybe 3 something of the memory uh, running Audacity. OK, Audacity is stopped. OK, we've saved it. Go back over here, we verify that it's in there, and we can see that we now have nothing in the right place. Okay, so let's list out our directory above us. And now, since this is the one we are working in, you can see that we have our desktop and we have a normalized version of it, and our, our mic is it to be done. Let me go up a little here. Now, we're up here in this directory. Okay, so we have that saved. So we want to um, close that. We're not exiting the program. We're, we can go back and grab that later if we need to. So there's exit, and then there's closing. That fits close the project. <clears throat> so that I find that that helps clear out uh, the memory that's being used. This also will suck up a good portion of, of hard drive space, which is temporary. Um, uh, file space. Now we're going to bring in in the same location. Once you've done it, once you've switched into that directory once for the day, you'll, it'll take you back there. So verify that today, that's today and that was the time that we started recording and we're going to open this up. Now this shows my microphone and how much talking I did. So let's see how often I talked. Now the funny thing is, okay, so I didn't do a lot of talking. Now this is kind of Spike right there. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so you see I didn't talk a whole lot, and the volume isn't bad. Uh, normally, when I see this, my volume is like way bigger than uh, than the desktop audio. So what I was doing in the per in the few in the past was I was going into here and I'd do my effect, and I'd, I'd use uh, one of these two. Usually, I think I'd use this one to, to de-amplify it. But today, because these, where I am talking is so much quieter, uh, it's below this 0.5 mark, I'm going to amplify it. And here, notice last time it said amplified by 10, and now we're doing like 1.049, which is just a little bit of amplification. So we'll apply that. And this amplifier, so let's see if we can hear what I say. Slide it down. Play it. You can grab them. There's uh, images of Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book's Ka. Okay, so that's audible. It's audible in my headset, so uh, I'm going to assume that's audible enough for everybody else. Notice that it's only the the peaks of these. You can how do I zoom? Control zoom. So here, back on both. Back on both. That's probably loud enough for our video. Zoom back out to everything. And here. See that? This is on the other side. Stop. There's uh, images of Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book's Ka, you know, the giant snake. But then, um, I wonder what that click was. The click sounds like a like a voltage spike. But anyway, I mean, if we really wanted to, we're really concerned about it. We go into here. But then, okay, so I don't know where my 
cursor there it is still there. Um, so there was a big spike right there for some reason who knows we could chop that out we could edit this out if we were really concerned like if we we're making a production quality thing come in here and do like fix that and then just do a blank right there we could do um, blank silence audio selection okay which is something that i am going to have to do um once i'm done with this i have to go back all right anyway so i've amplified this and i've got you all confused all right so what we did is when we went in here we imported this audio we imported this audio we went in and we grabbed this audio mic we imported it and that's what this is right here um, so anyway we need to save that by exporting so we export our audio and we're going to throw an n on here as well <coughs> And it save. So okay. Don't want to put any other data in there. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to go back. I need to go back into this one because there's a portion in here where Amon said something that I need to edit out. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to edit out what he said. And uh, um, then I'll resave it. Now, the funny thing is, look at this difference here. So we went from 101 megabytes to 219 megabytes. And our, our, our microphone file, that went from 4 megabytes to 28 megabytes. And I, so it's inflating. There's something that Audacity does that inflates the size of the inflates the size of the file okay so i've finished doing those two things and then i'm going to turn in the right date so i'm in the right date here's my normalized one and i want to select my audio and my mic or my desktop and my microphone and i'll open up both of these check my time because drawing down the stars starts at the top of the hour and so here's my first file that's been imported. Okay, so that is our desktop sound. And it looks kind of funky right now because um, it's busy importing this instead of showing us stuff. Okay, so now we have both of these, and this is what they look like. And so what we'll do is now we have both open. Now we just need to go and export it again because all this, all, all we did is have both tracks open. And now, make sure I'm in the right place, yep. What I do is you just have to rename this to something else, and I like to use the word mixed because um, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, it says tracks will be mixed down and imported as one stereo file. So what that's gonna do is smash those two together, just like uh, smashing layers on an image together. No metadata needed, so we're going to export that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to stop this and come back uh, later. So I'm going to stop. Okay, we're back. And uh, so we combined those two tracks. We exported them. We closed that file. Now we are done with Audacity. Okay, so now what we need to do and pop this over to that screen so I can have the whole thing to myself. So now we have all of this, and what we need to do is we need to combine the, the video screen capture that we made and the audio. So how we do that, I'm just going to scroll up here until I find my... This one looks good. Okay, so here, starting at the end of the line, <clears throat> Day is the 25th, so it's not intensive Greek. We're going to call this Nonus Book 25. Twenty-five. Um, is it a deep dive and sample? I don't know. We'll just do the uh, 25. Okay. So in the last video I did. <clears throat> 
I chopped off the beginning 20 seconds of the of what I did. <clears throat> so uh, SS stands for search select, I think. Anyway, so it, it skips forward. It, it does like 20 seconds, and then it, without outputting, and then it starts outputting. And then you can also do <clears throat> two, you know, like uh, 650 seconds. Okay, so that would give us from our original contact context, we only want to output after 20 seconds and only up to 654 seconds. So like 10 minutes, 11, not quite 11 minutes. Okay, but on this one, I think we want the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, so our pixel format is a YUV 420p. Um, it is in 1080. I don't know what to 420. This is a format that you, you, you uh, this is a video format that YouTube likes. Our bit rate, this is for bit rate for our audio, is 192K. That's probably more than we need. This stands for the codec. The codec for our audio is the AAC. Uh, don't remember what AAC stands for. <clears throat> Adaptive audio codec or something like that. Um, CRF is our something about quality frame quality rate. Anyway, it's something about frame rate. It's a quality of the frame rate, and we want we're setting that for thirty ish. Uh, again, here's our preset for ultra fast. Um, in our our codec, so this is our codec for our video is a lib x two sixty four. So that's the, the H.264 codec. Um, and now here, for this input, so in FFmpeg, we do an I, that stands for input. And what we want is today's. So we're going to backspace up until the date. And we'll hit tab, and it'll autocomplete. And so we have our mixed, this is our mixed input from today. And then for our video, we're going to go back until today's date. Okay, so what this whole command does, <clears throat> so here we have FFmpeg, which is our video audio Swiss Army tool, um, probably the most powerful out there. The problem is you have to run command line commands. So, hyphen i, tack i, that gives us an input. And we want to input the file that's called screen with our date. TACI is our audio. This is the audio file we want. Okay, so we're inputting both of those. Uh, we want to <clears throat> change the encoding, which actually is it's the same because uh, we recorded it in the same of X264, the H264 codec. And then the preset here is ultra fast, but there's multiple presets you can do, and it tells like how much effort the CPU puts into cranking this out. So, I mean, if I set this to slow or slowest, it's going to take me, you know, like six hours to crunch this 45 minute video. <clears throat> this is the quality of our, our frame rate. Um, and this is our audio codec. We're putting it out as an AAC type audio with uh, 192 kilobits per second sampling rate. Um, it's not actually sampling. We already did the sampling from the microphone, but that's, that's what they call it. So pixel format is this format, and then this is our output file. <clears throat> and we hit enter, and off it goes. And then if we look back over at our, our uh, task manager, we can see that uh, FFmpeg is chomping down. It's, it's sucking up the CPU. We're running at 70%. Let me top down. Okay. So 70%, okay, so we switch back over here. Um, we're running at uh, 3.8 times faster than normal playback speed. So you can see over here we're into the two minute section. This is what frame it's on. This is the frames per second. The quality, I think our quality is set to 30, and we're here hitting like 20 ish. Sometimes it'll show you how, like, how many frames are dropped. Um, this is how big the file is getting. And if I switch back to this one, uh, we're recording everywhere. Okay, so this is our, that one. This is uh, where I'm talking to you right now. So, 
Uh, I can't show you how fast that's growing. I'm going to come here. But anyway, uh, that's how we're going to crunch that into a video. And uh, once we get that video file made, which will have that knownness name onto it, I think from there you can figure out how to upload it to YouTube. So that is how I record and process the Discord sessions. Okay, so I'm going to split back over here and end the recording that I'm talking on right now. And hopefully not end the bonus video.